fries to miss that day. Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify um, this uh, rational expression. And uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use some properties of um, exponents to help us simplify this. So the first thing, whenever you're using properties of um, exponents, the one important thing that we can do is we can always, you know, what we're doing is we're dividing one number, divide another number. Well, I can't do negative seven divided by six. I can't simplify that anymore. So I know my answer is gonna include a negative, or a negative seven over six. Now what I need to do is how can I simplify w to the seventh divided by w to the fourth? Well, there's a couple things I want to remind you of properties of exponents. Um, x to the first power, right, is really just equal to x. x squared tells me to do x times x. And x cubed tells me to do x times x times x. Correct? Well, another thing you need to remember is x divided by x equals 1. Right? Any number divided by itself is going to equal 1. So if I was just going to do a rudimentary example, let's do x cubed. No, let's do x to the fourth divided by x squared. Now, let's write that out in expanded form. What I would have is x times x times x times x divided by x times x. Well, what happens is these two cancel out to 1. And we're just left with x times x, which is equal to x squared. And the way that we got that is another way to write this is x to the fourth minus 2, which equals x squared. So whenever you're dividing two exponents, what you can do is you can just follow the rule of just doing, uh, I'm sorry, actually, that's not gonna happen. You just have w to the seventh minus four. So you just subtract the exponents whenever you divide, and what you get is w to the third. So my final answer is negative seven divided by six times w to the third. And that is my final answer. by some fine exponents.